What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reefing. Come back at you with another video and today we have a very special day because my quarantine tank is getting a water change which means I'm going to bring the copper levels down and I'll be getting these fish into the main display in the next couple days. So in this tank, sorry, it's a bow front, well, a JBJ so it's bowed so you get kind of a distortion. But I got a Midas Plenty, a purple tank, and a Tamini Tang or Fire Fin, whichever one. I can't find him in here. He's good. He's usually like hiding about in here. But these fish will be in the main display in the next couple days. So I'm going to do a water change real quick, bring down the copper levels, and we are going to get these fish acclimated to their new tank. So I'll see you in a day or two when the acclimation process is done. All right, so I finally got the fish in the acclimation box and they're doing well. I was a little worried about the Tamini Tang and the Purple Tang, making sure that they didn't have any aggression. I don't think they really do. I think they're just trying to fill out the box. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this and hopefully they're gonna do really well. I had them in a uh, Coopermine in the QT Tank over here for, hmm, I think it was 32 days. So a little bit more than a month. Um, and brought down the copper in there by doing a 15 gallon water change in that tank and uh, finally let him acclimate for, to that for a day. Then I brought him over here after acclimating to about a five to one ratio of this tank water to their old tank water for 30 minutes and they seem to be doing well. I don't know, I don't think these two are being too aggressive, but you never know. I took off the orange gel filter to see if I could get some better coloration on the fish. I mean, these these phones just don't do them justice. They're just beautiful. Let's see. Zooming in. Ah, oh, there we go. Purple Tang's looking fat and healthy. Love it. Showing its fins. And the Tamini or Firefin Tang is looking great as well. Don't think they're butting each other, but I do have a PVC pipe in here for them to chill in. I'm thinking giving them a day or two in here and then put them in the main display. One of the reasons why I wanna kind of wait it out, or not wait it out a bit, but to put them in a little bit quicker as opposed to normally I'd wanna do it, you know, two days in the acclimation box and then drop them in the tank. I wanna do one day because I am going on vacation for a little bit and I'll be gone for three days. So I want them in the tank just to kind of get used to it, establish themselves, and maybe pick up some of this hair algae that I've like kind of grow. Now pretty much I've let this hair algae kind of grow out of control because I want to see how well these fish do at picking off the rocks and seeing how well they do with the algae. I think they'll do a good job. So I will come back at you tomorrow and let you know how everything went or is going. Sorry, there you are. That my display is just chilling in the corner. He is beautiful. I love him. Look at that. Oh, come on. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. The so next morning, well, I guess it's afternoon now, and the fish seem to be doing great, no problems. I think I'm gonna drop them in or just let them go out of the acclimation box. But I've been pretty busy this morning. Yes, you can kind of see the destruction I have caused. I moved the frag tank from upstairs or the quarantine tank from upstairs, the frag quarantine from upstairs, moved it downstairs and I moved the um, 24 gallon fish quarantine tank to the corner. And yeah, that was kind of a lot of work. My plan is to fill that tank up with uh, fresh water and put some mollies in it and slowly acclimate them to salt water. Because, be I don't know if you, yeah, so the mollies, I don't know. I think I only caught a little bit of my wife talking. So the mollies I'm gonna put in that tank are for the Mandarin. Now I've been reading Humblefish and everything about Humblefish, and he says to do like a hydrogen peroxide dip and put them in a, um, or not the mollies, but to put the Mandarin that I want in the tank with some mollies and that way, if the mollies catch any disease, you know the Mandarin has a disease because mollies don't have any resistance to any of the um, like, parasites or anything that are for salt water. So my wife is really excited about that, but they are tester fish. They are not meant to be loved, but I'm sure my wife is gonna love them because she loves mollies. That's her favorite fish. <laughs> but they will be my guinea pigs to see if the mandarin, which she really loves, is going to be um, healthy or not, and I just tripped over something. Don't mind me. 
Well, it's time to put these fish in and see how they do. So far, so good. The fire fin is out, the Tamini Tang. He's doing pretty well. And then the purple Tang is hiding up under there. But Char, the flame angel, who's kind of a dick sometimes, was trying to size up the purple Tang. And I have no idea where the Midas Blenny went. Somewhere in here, there's a Midas Blenny. No idea where. Probably in these rocks over here. But I cannot wait for these fish to get settled in and get some of this algae off the rocks. You can kind of see the algae there. So I'll be back probably in an hour or two with an update. Well, I don't know if you can see this. This is within eh, 10, 15 minutes of me playing the fish in. The fire dart fish, the purple fire dart fish is dead. Definitely not due to the new fish in there. They must have just picked on him or something over the night. I did not notice him um, until just now, but I did a whole scan of the tank. Look at this. Where's Char? Whatever, he was being a jerk and sizing them up. But yeah, the fish definitely didn't do that. I don't know what fish picked on the fire dart fish, but I'm done with fire dart fish. Pretty much, it's a wrap. They don't belong in this tank. Well, the fish are out and about. The Midas is doing well. The purple's doing well. My fire fan is down in that little hole down there. He has a huge bite in his dorsal fin. Huge. I have no eye. I only have one idea who did it. Char probably did it. That flame angel's huge. So he's hiding down in that cave. Oh man, I saw that bite and it was not good. I'll see if I can get some footage, but poor buddy, man. Oh, here he comes. Come on, come out. Come on. I'll feed some more and see if I can get him out. Come on, you can see it a little bit right there. Oh man, that looks bad. He was beautiful right down the middle. Oh, he's just such a chill fish too. Hurts. Definitely not Dory who's doing it, I don't know. Oh man, even the bottom's bit, oh. Who is doing it? Found a little hole. Oh, I hope he does well. Hope he makes it. <clears throat> I mean, in a 200 gallon tank, there's more than enough room and more than enough rock work for three tanks of different genuses and a dwarf angel, four blennies, four blue street cardinals, five anthias, one royal grama, two clownfish, and no fire dart fish apparently anymore. But that's about it that I got in here. So not that many fish relatively speaking. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna just keep an eye on him and watch because God, those fins are torn to pieces. All right, I'll be back later. I'll let you know if he lives. I hope to God he does. He's so beautiful. Oh. The one thing I really like about quarantining fish is to fatten them up. So that fish is kind of small for a tang and it did grow kind of a, a little bit when he was in QT. Fattened him up, made him a little bit more healthy. And that probably is what might save him in the long run. So we will see. Um, right now, oh, looks like he's buddy-buddy with the purple. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on him, see what's up. All right, so success story, maybe? So the fire fin, or Tamini tank, found a swim through that goes through this side right here and comes out over here. So I think he's gonna be okay. His behavior is looking much better. He's out and about more. The Midas is obviously gorgeous, doing really well. The purple, you know, no worries about the purple. I think the purple and the fire fin are teaming up together and kind of just hanging out. Um, yeah, oh, man, that, he just looks so bad. I hope that, you know, I don't come back to a dead fish after vacation. I already had that purple fire dart fish die, but that's the end for me and fire dart fish. But I think this guy is gonna make it. I'm not too worried. I feed this thing like crazy. I've already got my auto feeder up top set to go so it's going to just be once a day as opposed to twice a day that i feed these fish so i'm going to kind of fatten them up a little bit with a little bit more um a little bit more feedings a little bit heavier feeding um nothing too crazy and hopefully i have all this 
hair algae that will not be here when I come back. I did dose 20 milliliters of Vibrant um, last night when I put the fish or when the fish were in. So hopefully that kind of like kicks it a little bit, getting some of this hair algae up and then the Tang Gang will go and do their job. But overall, all the fish are looking great. I really can't complain with the fish. So guys, that's all I got for you this time. Char, don't be a dick. If you like what you see here and you wanna see more, click the subscribe button and also give me a like and I'll be back at you with another video, hopefully in less than two weeks. I know, it's been a while. Life hits you hard and it's hit me kinda of hard this year. But now that it's summertime, I should have a little bit more time. So give me a subscribe, give me a like and I'll see you next time.